This is the story of the triumphal entry, according to Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them and that he'll send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of the donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their coats on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their coats to the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds went ahead of him, and those, who, those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Palm Sunday brings us to the crossroads. It brings us to the moment where how things are and how things will be divide and split away. It's always a weird Sunday because we love the party, we love the parade, we love the poems. But we also know what's coming. We also know what's about to be and how that's going to work. And what that might look like. I grew up in a small town, which in retrospect was pretty Mayberry-like. It was just one of those places where you could go around and do things and get into just enough trouble for kids to be kids, but not have the whole world drop in on your head. And Orville had, its, had, its, had and has its troubles with being a post-industrial Rust Belt town. But it was just a good place to grow up and a place of traditions. One well, of the biggest traditions was that of football, and that of none other than the Oral Worcester football game. Every year, the last game of the season, you would go and you would play the other t city of the county, Worcester, the hated other, the Generals versus the Red Riders. And this is Northeast Ohio where when you're born, you either get a football or some pom-poms in your bassinet, just so you get the right idea. It's a big deal. The week was a write-off academically. Nothing got done. And on Thursday, there was the biggest pep rally of the season with all the football players and the cheerleaders up on a milk truck being driven through town, followed by the marching band as we went down to the town square and cut down an effigy of the hated general. We then parade back across town and with some speeches and some go get em boys, we'd throw the general up onto a 30 foot bonfire at the volunteer fire department had it prepared just for the occasion. It was great fun and it was big tradition. I'm sure they're still doing it. But in retrospect, I realize how mildly insane it is. Because how in polite society is it ever a good idea to pick up and go out and find a human form to burn, even in symbol? And if you strip away that thin veneer of civil loyalty and community celebration, I'm guessing you'd have a very different response. Whether or not you had a brass band, you have a group of students parading through the streets, blocking a state highway, and abusing 
a symbol of a corpse. That's not a parade, that's a riot. That's something else entirely. Everyone loves a parade. Nobody loves a riot. And that makes all the difference. We'd stand right on that edge today in Palm Sunday. We had the parade of welcome. We had the parade of here we are. But soon enough, we turn off and go down a wholly different road of disappointment and difference. And the crowd who is crying Hosanna now is crying crucify on Friday. And I don't know about you, but I can actually see myself in both crowds. Because when I come to Hosanna, I know what it is I want. I know what it is I'm expecting. I'm pleading, God, be with us. That's what Hosanna means. We have it as just this general word of praise and thanksgiving. But in the most literal translation in the Hebrew, it's simply God, save us. Lord, save us. So as Jesus is coming into Jerusalem, he's hearing time and again, Lord, save us. Blessed are you who come in the name of the Lord, but save us already. Save us from Rome. Save us from poverty. Save us from what have you. And time and again, here it is. I'm not sure that we're all that different now. I'm not sure that we would say all that much different even though we say Jesus Christ is Messiah. Even though we would know how the story ends. We have a long list of that which we would have God save us from. God save us. We can't recognize the world as it is. God save us. We don't know where all this ends. God save us. Our climate is in danger. Everything's changing. We don't know quite what to do about it. God save us. We're more divided than ever. God save us. We just want to see salvation. All this and more we bring to the foot of the cross. I'm not sure we always like the answers. Because the way of the kingdom is not the way of easy answers. It's not the way of political power. It's not the way of simply taking power and setting things right, but simply changing heart by human heart into the way of love and into the hope of peace. And that's never an easy road. That's never an easy way to do things, but it is God's way. It is Jesus' way to simply come and be with us. Jesus ends up on the cross simply because the way that God saves us comes is not the way that they expect. It's not the way that they so desire. It's not the way that they demand time and again. And as such, I'm not sure that we're all that different. Yet we're invited to follow. We're invited to follow each and every day. As Jesus says, that those who would come after me would simply take up their cross and follow me. That's the way of the kingdom. That's the way of hope. May we be given the courage to follow down the more difficult road of kingdom love as we look for God's salvation even here, even now. Amen.